this is the tree I want. My daughter and son-in-law want alder boards from trees cut from my property and milled on my sawmill to build cabinets in their new home. I picked the largest, straightest alder on the place, but first I had to cut down other trees that were in the way. I need to fell it right down through here. Now this is one of the trees I need to cut. I girdled it two years ago. Stopped the sap rise, but did not cut it last year. Same with that one. So we're going to cut one, two, three, four, five, six. First thing to do is clear the area around the tree you're going to cut so you have a safe work area and so you don't get your feet tangled up if you have to get away in a hurry. I don't cut any but the smallest trees next to the ground. I want to be on my feet if something goes wrong. So I cut the tree high and cut the stump off flush later. I did not do a clean job of making the wedge cut, but I got it done. This one is not going to go down the trail. I will try, but it will not. Leaning too far to the right. That stump I will leave until next year. After a year or so in the weather, the wood will begin to spalt, be invaded by fungus, the first stage of rotting. It makes beautiful projects on the lathe. I do not expect this leaning tree to fall straight down the trail, but I aim it that way anyhow.
I will be damned. By cutting the hinge the way I did. So it would break on the downhill side first, downhill the way the tree was leaning. Dropped her right down the trail. That fell in the right place, but uh, not quite. Maybe one of the next trees will bring it down. Cutting more trees would have to wait for another day. The saw would not start. I rebuilt the engine using cheap parts and it ran fine for most of a year, but hard work, overheating, has again damaged the piston and cylinder. There's not enough compression to start the saw. So, that's it for cutting trees until I get another saw. I found a replacement saw on Craigslist. An old, heavy, more powerful steel 041 AV. The only thing wrong with it is the kill switch doesn't work, so you have to choke it to death. I asked the man, how does it start after you've choked it? He said it starts up again just fine. And it does. You may have noticed this is a, not the same saw I had up here the other day. It weighs a hell of a lot more for one thing. Steel 041 AV Super. Um, probably 45 years old. Give or take 20. Uh, my little saw is just not up to the kind of work I put in on it. Put it through. Sometimes it takes a face full of wood chips to remind me to tip the screen down.
My other saw often died if left at idle, so I got in the habit of goosing the throttle every second or so. It's not necessary with this saw, but it's hard to break the habit. Once again, I completely forgot about the camera and my concentration on cutting this tree. I love it when a plan comes to fruition. This is the tree I want. Nice and straight, I think. Pretty damn straight. What I have to do next is cut all the branches off all of these. So I can buck them up, drag them out the hill. I uh, can't do that right now. I did not bring a measuring tape. Okay, I've done enough. That tree was standing so straight, there was almost no hinge left. And I'd cut that way back in here. Almost. Well, I had to put my glasses on, but I think I went all the way to the middle of the tree on that notch. Yeah, here's the pith. Here's the center of the tree right here. Right here. So I'd cut all the way back to that. Almost. About a half inch, inch over here, half inch over there. It was all that was left when the back cut got to the center of the tree. Dropped it right where I wanted, knocked the tree down I wanted it to knock down. It's a, it's a successful day. Something cracked. Pretty loud crack. Maybe this tree we're looking at right there. Nothing's happening here. The other one came down. Don't know what it brought with it. But anyway, I had the foresight when I went down to the house to get two large glasses of water on this. February summer day, get myself a beer.
like the sunlight and the moss on those trees.